The most common question I get when it comes to pin bars is how do I know when to trade one and how do I know when to stand aside? So in order to show this, I've got a few examples set up. And the first pin bar I want to take a look at here is going to be this bearish pin bar here. Now, the first question you always want to ask, whether it's a pin bar or an inside bar or any strategy for that matter, is why am I trading this? What odds are in my favor? Because we all know that stacking the odds in your favor is really what it's all about. That's what makes you consistent. So let me ask you, would you trade this pin bar? And you should be answering with, well, I don't know. I'd have to see what happened previously to know the answer to that. So let's do that. If we zoom out here on the daily chart, we can see that we're clearly in an uptrend. We're making higher highs followed by higher lows. So this bearish pin bar here, I can already tell you would be no good because I don't want to get short in a market where we have this kind of upward momentum. So if we move on to the next pin bar, we come to this bullish pin bar here. And unlike the last one, this one is obviously with the trend. We also have our two moving averages that are providing dynamic support. The pin, the pin bar tail is also nice and long, so that's also good. But there's one other factor here that really gives credence to why this is a good setup. And again, we have to look back at previous price action. So if we draw our horizontal line, we can see that this level acted as resistance previously. We then broke through this level on this bar, retested that level as support, which held, and price was rejected off of it, forming a pin bar. This is exactly what we want to look for. So resistance broke through, rejected, forming a pin bar, where with the trend, we have our moving averages. It's a well-formed pin bar. So this would be a valid trade setup. Now there's two other pin bars on here that are even better trade setups. And I'll show you why. But first let's identify those pin bars and those two are right here. Now these pin bars also, just like the last one, also have the momentum in their favor. We have the two moving averages. They're also well-formed pin bars with nice long tails. But there's one other factor here that really makes these two pin bars a great setup, and that is this key level. And the reason I like this level better than the last one is simply because we have three touches. So we touched this level three times, we broke through it on this bar, we then immediately formed a pin bar. And this is exactly what we want to look for. So let me just compare these two pin bars with the last one to drive this point home. So the last one we had one touch off of this level, we broke through it and then formed the pin bar. So we had one touch on this level. Over here we had three touches, we broke through and then formed a pin bar. So anytime you have three touches, it's gonna be a stronger level than just one touch. So although this was a valid trade setup, you can see that price did retest this level once again before breaking through. Whereas up here, as soon as we broke through this three touch level, we took off for about 300 pips.